One of the other useful modify commands is the array command, which is found under modify. And if we simply click here, you can see that there's a rectangular array, a path array, and polar array. We're going to start with a rectangular array. And if we click, it's asking for the first object. If we select this tree and simply hit return, in this case, I'm right clicking on the mouse. And let's zoom out here. And you can see it's going up. We'd like this to go down. So I can simply click and drag. And it's initially looking at the number of rows. So we can determine if we want five rows, four rows, and we can select that with four. It's now, we're going to click on the column and we can drag and make simply two, three, four, five, however many columns. And we can select that. Now we can adjust the column spacing. If we click and hold, we can make these really tight or widen them out. And we can also adjust the spacing for or between our rows. So we can make this very dense if we wish. And that's how you create a rectangular array. Now let's take a look at polar array. If we go to array and select polar array, we're going to try and make a very simple pine tree. So we'll select this line and we're going to array it around a point. Now the array starts out quite simple, so we can first make the branches denser. Simply click when we find the right density or angle for the rotation. And then we can simply rotate this 360 degrees around to complete the tree. So we could also array the array if we wished, so that we could come back and do another polar array, select that object, simply select a base of rotation, and again, determine how dense we wish this to be, and rotate the trees around in a circle. So, polar array is a very effective way of creating a series of objects that need to follow a circular path. The final method is to create an array along a path. So we simply select path array, and the first thing is to select our object, which will be this tree. We then select the path that we wish it to follow, and you can see that that's now generated with the trees following along the path we, that we designated. Again, we can make this wider or narrower spacing between the trees. Once you have that selected and complete, you're ready to go.